um, is the art of interacting with a real person mm-hmm. being lost where, mm. you know, people learn how to read, uh, you know, emotional and social cues off of other people through emojis, mm-hmm. not through eye contact and body language. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what would you have to say about that? Yeah. I don't know that it's being lost, It's but it's becoming um, obscured um, and perhaps made more complicated. And in some ways, maybe made... Uh, perhaps it's being enhanced or facilitated because some of those emojis um, can be even more animated than a micro facial expression would would yield. Uh, and so in some ways, we're able to express things that would be more difficult to express in a fully affective, um, you know, person-to-person manner. Mm-hmm. And so, again, it's not all bad, but it, it is different. And I think maybe that's the main thrust of... of everything underlying this conversation even right now is just to be mindful and aware and tuned in to what's going on. So if Junior is in his room connecting with somebody, albeit virtually, well, hey, he is connecting with somebody. That's pretty cool. Um, Who's he connecting with? For how long? What are they talking about? Now, we can't know all those things, Yeah. but um, we can help um, kind of build that same curiosity in Junior so that he's mindfully aware of what he's doing. Because what we're talking about is bringing what's unconscious and automatic to conscious, intentional awareness. Which is everything we do as therapists. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah. let's figure out what we're, what we're up to and what our kids are up to and help them do the same. And, and we're going to be in good shape.